I want to begin by thanking the President and the First Lady for choosing to build the library in their hometown, the city of Chicago. When we break ground on the President's library, it will be a groundbreaking moment for the city of Chicago and all the residents of the South Side. This is where President Obama's journey began in public life. He got his start as a young community organizer, providing a voice to the people who lacked economic and political power, and is also where he found his voice. He walked these streets, knocked on these doors, and believed in the audacity of hope. His journey began on the South Side, and now we know that it will come full circle with his library coming home to the South Side of Chicago. The President's Library will be a groundbreaking for economic value. It will have in terms of the job creation and the investment that will come with it. It will be groundbreaking for the education of a value it will have as a place for children to learn from Chicago's, about Chicago's history and America's history. They will be able to walk the halls and see the exhibits and be inspired to embark on their own journey in the same place that President Obama embarked on his journey. And it will be groundbreaking as one of the most important cultural jewels of the city of Chicago. Ultimately, Barack and Michelle decided to return to their roots on the city's south side, the same streets where a young community organizer once inspired his community to take action will serve as the home base for a foundation that will organize and inspire people of all backgrounds and beliefs to better their communities, their country, and their world. Barack and Michelle have so much more to do in the White House and beyond, and we are excited to be creating a platform for their future work. Our goal will be to create a facility that will exist not merely as a testament to the President's and First Lady's legacies, but also as a dynamic, vibrant forum for civic participation, education, action, and progress.